Hey, the countdown certainly yeah. on. Uh, nearly four years ago, San Diego State hired a man to oversee the design and the creation of this right here, Snapdragon Stadium. They brought in Derek Grice. He was previously in charge of facilities at Georgia Tech University. As CBS 8's John Howard reports, Grice made sure the new stadium was a reflection of the community it will serve. And, and to put it in layman's terms, if I'm Paul McCartney and I want to perform here, are, are you the guy that I talk to? Uh, we have people you can talk to about that, but I am, the, I, I, in a nutshell, I'm overseeing the design, the construction, the operational planning, and the revenue generation for, for this project. And you've been here about three and a half years? About three and a half years, yes. Are you happy with what you see? Uh, ecstatic. Are uh, you? Ecstatic. We've got a lot we still have to do, but really, really proud of the product that we've been able to put together. Okay, I know you came from Georgia Tech. How does this compare to some of what you saw there at Georgia Tech? Well, I, I, I would say when you look at our building, um, we, we designed this to be unique to San Diego, mm -hmm. and I believe that we've put together probably one of the best college experiences and atmospheres in the country. Uh, pound for pound, that is what we're trying to accomplish, and I think we've been able to do that. What makes this place unique for the fan experience? What will the fans see, especially maybe compared to Qualcomm Stadium that they had in the past? Uh, for us, we really wanted to make it a very intimate environment. We really wanted to bring the fans closer to the field, all of our premium products closer to the field. Our, uh, our seating bowl is a little steeper than you see in a lot. Mm -hmm. We also made sure for us, and this is unique to a college stadium, every one of our seats is a chair back seat. Um, we, we also really wanted to make sure that we embodied San Diego in this community. and, and so so we brought that into it in a lot of different ways. Um, but we also know that we wanted to create an atmosphere experiential so that people uh, had an opportunity to experience different things every time they came back to the back to the stadium. And I think we've been able to accomplish that. Very cool. The steeper angle of the bowls mm -hmm. gets the fans closer. Does it make it louder too? It should make it louder. We okay. believe that we've, we're going to create a unique home field advantage for our student athletes. That's something that quite honestly they haven't had in the past uh, at a Qualcomm when you had such a cavernous big building now you you bring our fans in you get them closer to the field you get them more involved and more engaged and I think our student athletes are really going to feed off of that I also understand there's going to be a hodads here do I commend you for bringing them in uh, I, one of my really one of the hardest parts of my job was helping curate the, the food service with <laughs> our talented people over at Aztec shops uh -huh. uh, really had to get out there and get in and get in and, and, and really loosen up the belt and get after it and eat, eat a bunch of, of foods but uh, really leaned into the local brands here. We've got 10 restaurant partners that are here local to, to San Diego. Very cool. I also noticed, and just over my shoulder, is a mural going up at the S on Cowles Mountain, which is more of a historic thing. Yeah. There's another mural of Tony Gwynn. So it's not just football, not just San Diego State. It's it's a little bit of history and everything else. Absolutely. We we wanted to make sure that we, we again, connected with the community here in San Diego. We did that by use of local local artists um, through storytelling graphics. We, we did what we like to call East Easter egg moments where we've taken um, some some things from the old stadium, uh, from from Jack Murphy, Qualcomm, San Diego Stadium, whatever you want to refer to it as. Yep. We that was a building that meant so much to so many people, and we want to create a stadium that that's going to create new mo memories, and we wanted to have that connection. So we brought in pieces and and brought that history here and tell the history of the land and the area around it. Everything from when it was Kumeyaay land to dairy farms to the stadium to now Snapdragon Stadium.